Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Painter. It is a model box, um, oh, we can't see. Boop, 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 boop. It's a model box unboxing video this week. And guys, if you don't know what model box is, it's a subscription service for miniature related hobby goodness. Links are in the description below. You can check out their site. And you can check out the first video I ever did where I explained the pay structure and subscription boxes as a whole. In this video, I'm just going to have a look what's in this month's box. As I mentioned, every time it comes, it's another month of my life just dis disappeared. I find Modic Box is a bit like an advent calendar. It's ticking me towards Christmas, except now it is actually nearly Christmas, which means an entire year has gone since I have last said that. Where's time going, guys? Where is time going? Anyway, guys, why is this on top? You might ask. This was the last model box I got, and this was my competition entry. And I thought, I don't often mention that enough that every single month model box does a competition involving the goodies that is in the box and basically anybody can win it it's not necessarily always the best painter or the best paint job you've really just got to catch george's eye who's the owner of model box and just impress him in some way shape or form this was not the winning model but i was pretty proud of it i think it's pretty good if you know me i don't normally stray much from the artwork but in model box there is no artwork so i have to use my imagination and this is where it took me and it's probably one of the most impressive pieces of painting i've done so that's model box's fault pushing me out of my comfort zone so yeah competition every month guys it's a big pull for model box and if you're not enter if you've got model box and you're not entering just give it a go it's a lot of fun i well we're going to find out what we've got this month and i'll decide whether i'm going to enter should we have a look what's inside? Let's have a look. I have got no idea what the theme is, so if I can hide that card. Oh, I tried to do it without looking, but there was no card to feel. If I can hide that, I'll be able to guess the theme and see how on point it was. It's down here somewhere. I'm just looking away. Here we go. Let's have a look how well they get it. Let's get all this stuff out. Look, oh, how to do it. Rattle, rattle. I bet that's annoying. Sorry, apologies. Wow, that looked cool. I just glanced at it slightly. Let's get the box out of the way. Right, let's start with, let's get the candy, the sweeties out of the way, two little sherbet straws. If you're interested in sweets, there's sweets every month, just a little taste. I guess in the US, if you get model box, you maybe don't have the same candy as us, sweets as we call it here, but Sophie likes these, so they go straight to my four-year-old. Rationed out, she can't just gobble them down as she chooses. Wow, guys, green stuff world. So. Another great thing about these subscription boxes is they introduce you to paints, brands you've never used or heard of. I have obviously heard of Green Stuff World. I do not have any Green Stuff World. So these are the first two Green Stuff World products I own. And I can see it's coagulated blood. That is very exciting to me. So we're going to find out if that is different to... We've got it right here, right next to me. I've been painting some blood glistening blood i'm guessing this looks darker it's more old blood this is sparkling flesh blood so maybe they'll complement each other but it's really cool to get a new effect paint that's very very exciting to me 100 going to be using that what is the other one we've got acrylic color this is just zombie flesh so oh, i haven't got one next to me i thought i was gonna have one next to me i don't know brain matter beige close enough i've got zombie flesh it's nice that i get to try a different brand what sort of lids are these never seen them before in my life Dropper bottles though, which is always good. So I get to try a new brand, but for me, that's very exciting because that's the sort of thing I would buy. I just haven't because reasons. Now, this is gonna be an exclusive model. We'll look at that in a minute. Oh, uh, do we think the theme zombies? I think this has ruined it for me. I know it's just saying there are zombies. So we get a female zombie and a male zombie. That's funny. I, was, I, I honestly have no idea what the theme was this month. I've just not paid any attention whatsoever. But I was just thinking earlier, I need a zombie to paint that isn't zombie side. And uh, what do you know? Let's see if these deliver. I was imagining them in a suit. So if this guy's in a suit, they read my mind somehow. So it's metal miniatures, which I'm never super keen on. And these are not wearing suits. These are very... I was like, what's this for? Where, where do I glue that? Does it attach to his arm? It's just the staple that I pulled out. These are very fantasy-esque, aren't they? They look like something out of an RPG, Dungeons & Dragons. She's got her boobs out, obviously. That's what zombies would do. She doesn't actually look that dead. Now I feel like I'm hitting on the zombie. But what's this one? This one looks fairly dead indeed, doesn't it? But yeah, this one's just a, a little bit... This one looks a little bit dead. 
and this one's very very dead but they're, they're they're cool i need some zombies so they might be useful but i wanted modern day zombies so alas not exactly what i was looking for would you believe the random miniatures that came in the subscription box what wasn't what i was just randomly thinking about earlier Ugh, i'm not that lucky so this was by fantasy warriors i'll let your imagination be your guide nope i need some artwork guys yeah, have some artwork what else do we have let's have a look at these ones Ooh, I, th I think the theme is going to be zombies i'm gonna guess it's zombies because these feel like zombies too so we've got two different zombies these are a lot smaller in scale look at those so that looks like a runner from zombie side half running and this looks like some sort of ghoul but they're both good zombies aren't they i was going to say goblins but no just both zombies they're all metal cast as nice as they look, I'm just never a fan of metal. Uh, what have we got? So, oh, some bases. So Alien Lab, seen these before from, um, I think both model box and Asset Drop, two subscription boxes I get. And I've seen these before and these are beautiful bases. I'm, I'm yet to actually use any. They're so precious and you get four and just, what would I use them with? Who knows, but they're so, so cool. And these are just as cool. What's going on in here? Gravestones with faces kind of coming out at the base. Yeah, very, very nice. I feel like these don't go with this, though. So if I was going to try and enter the competition this month, these just the scales off, isn't it? Even the big one? Maybe the big one. But look at the size of the... I don't know. Just I don't think they work together myself. But these are amazing bases. And one day, one day I'll start using them. The time is coming. Competition pieces and all, I think, there for. Last one, guys. Now... For me these days, this is what it's all about. It's the exclusive model box miniature and it's oh, it's just been fantastic month after month after month. And what do we have this time? Well, it's, it's a zombie theme. This looks like the cat from um, Nemesis in the spacesuit. It's some sort of, look at that. Smashed his screen, smashed his visor. He's been exposed to these space elements. So, wow. Yeah, that's nice. Is he, do you stand him up or is he supposed to be laid down like a corpse? Maybe this is a piece of scenery and just have him sprawled out in a game somehow. I don't, I don't actually see how I'd stand him up. Or maybe he's leaning back like somebody out of the matrix. Who knows? Yes, that's really, really nice though, isn't it? It's different. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to have him. Maybe just on his side. Some sort of NPC, dead NPC, a bit of scenery. I don't know. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you would use that for because I can't use it as a character in a game. And I, don't, I, I mentioned every every other week I don't really play RPGs that much. So would you use this? It looks cool, though. I think I've got to paint it. I've got to find a base. Enter this competition. Space base. Why would he be dead? I need an alien as well to be munching on him. Oh, anyway, guys, that is... That is everything in the box this week. So this is very, very, very cool. This is nice. I mean, we've just had a zombie painting competition on Watch It Paint It, so these could have been handy. Oh, maybe all four of them together could make quite a nice little scene. They're nice looking zombies. I'm just never, never sold on metal miniatures. And I have a lot of miniatures that are zombies from all the zombie side games I've got. Then the paints, no, I'm not very excited about the paints. It's always good to get some more paints. Often I can give them away to people with a smaller collection of paints than myself. But these two, well, this one's going to be a comparison directly to, I've got uh, Vallejo's uh, Zombie Flesh or Dead Flesh, I think it's called. And I've also got Army Paint, so it'd be nice to try green stuffs in comparison. And then this is just a really, really cool, interesting effect paint so it's going to allow me to apply a different effect to some zombies a couple of sweets if you've got a sweet tooth and then some awesome bases these are really nice Whew, not sure what i'll use them for yet they're going to be sleepers one day one day stay tuned subscribe to the channel you'll see these in use one day guys that's everything for this month if you'd like to know stay put if you'd like to know more about model chill your beans guys if you'd like to know more about model box Check the link out below. Thank you all ever so much for watching. I'll see you again next week. Ah, uh, just one more thing. Guys, I worked out how you stand that up. Look at that. It's even cooler. He doesn't have to lay down. So he can be a player character. Look at him zombieing around, whatever, some sort of monster that you need to fight in a space RPG. But yeah, suddenly that just gets a lot, lot cooler that he stood up like that. Yeah, I just realized that was flat. So bing.
looking beautiful. I like, love it even more. Now I need a spaceship to put him on. 